matchbox to one end. We'll attach it to the short end here uh, with a paper clip. And then all you need to do is to watch that matchbox and use that as your point of reference. So this time the illusion won't trick you, or will it? Watch this. There's the matchbox going around the back of the window. Keep watching it. Now look what happens. The window appears to pause and go backwards, but the matchbox keeps coming and floats out past this edge of the window and rejoins the other edge of the window. Watch it again. Goes around the back. Firmly attached to the window, you can see that. But here's the crazy part. The window appears to stop, to pause, and then go backwards but the matchbox just keeps on coming, floating through space. I think maybe the problem is we have our reference point attached to the window. Let's stop it, take the matchbox off, and this time put on a reference point through the centre of the window. What I'll use is a ruler, wooden ruler, can't bend, and I'll attach it right to the centre of the window in this position here. Now this time you watch the ruler. You know it can't bend, so this time I'm sure we will defeat the illusion. What do you think? Here we go. Now there's the window, rotating. So is the ruler. It's attached to the window. But what's happening here? The window's going backwards, the ruler's still coming, and now it goes somehow or other through the window itself. Really crazy. Window pauses again, ruler keeps coming. Ruler's attached to the window. You can see that. You can even see the pin. But watch what happens here. Ruler's coming, window pauses, window goes backwards and somehow or other they go through each other, even though you know they can't do it. What a crazy illusion Adelbert aims in.